Morning guys, how are we this morning? It is 5 in the morning. It's 5 in the morning, you can see a beautiful Egyptian sunrise just behind us over there. And we are the Emperor Superior, and what are we going to go do? We're hoping to find some dolphins this morning. Yeah, we're at Shab El Erg, which translates roughly to Dolphin House. So we're hoping to find some dolphins. We did do a dive here last night, and we could hear them. And we also saw what? We also saw a big bait ball. It's a bit oh. early for holiday just now. No, Massive just big bait ball. And then we got to the point where there's a love heart, and we could go past that for the night dive, but it takes into the passage channel. Today, we could head into that channel where hopefully the dolphins are moving up and down. But we could hear them mm -hmm. and we could see the fish bait balling. So, hopefully, today we're going to get some dolphins for you guys. They like to come here for the rocks that they can rub themselves against for like medical treatment against parasites. Exactly. So, hopefully, we have luck. If not, it'll be a beautiful dive. But let's go explore Dolphin House. See ya. Bye. We're here at Dolphin House. Now this heart that you're seeing here makes up the channel here at Dolphin House. So there's a big heart on one side and a little heart on the other, showing us where the dolphins like to go in and out. Now on the night dive the night beforehand, there were absolutely no dolphins in this channel, though we did hear them. So everybody kept their fingers crossed for the morning and we went on another dive. It wasn't until the very, very end of the dive where the dolphin was on this anchor run. And it was just the one all by himself. You'll see as he comes up here, he's got a trail off the back of his fluke. Now what this is, it was fishing line that was encrusted with corals. Looks like it's been there quite a while and it really was bothering him. So the dolphin was just going up and down and up and down and up. You get the point of this line trying to get the fishing line off of his tail. Wish I could have helped him. The dolphin wouldn't let us get anywhere near close enough to help him. But it was really sad to see. So it was really fun hanging out with this little guy for about half an hour. Now, our group was ready early, so we went into the water first. So we got to this dolphin first, which did give us about half an hour alone with it before anybody else had figured out there was a dolphin here. We let them know that there was, we brought them our way, and then by that time, it was time for us to get out in the water anyway. So we head in for the second dive. Now the second dive, we knew this one guy was on the chain already. So we went and said hello to him got a couple more clips of him swimming around doing his thing and then we went for an explorer and see what we could find. to the Emperor Asthma crew, where our buddy Jay was on the boat, so that was just him and his girlfriend getting him for a quick photo. And then we found a whole cluster of fish doing their thing, having their breakfast, before we saw the most incredible part of all of these dives. Upcoming, keep an eye out, here we go, nine dolphins, a pod of dolphins that was just roaming around the dive site. They say they like to come to this dive site because there's a rock that when the dolphins rub their skin against, it works as getting rid of parasites and it's a medical rock for the dolphins. That's what they say, who knows whether that's true, but that's what we're gonna go with, so that's why all of these dolphins were here. Really cool is coming out we have a little baby dolphin underneath its mum, and this one would just swim around with the whole pack as if it was just as big as the rest of them, which was really cool to see. We encountered them about four times throughout the dive. They were just swimming along and it looks like they're swimming really slow. But believe me, you'll see in the clip coming up, I tried to swim alongside of them. My goodness, do dolphins swim quickly. It's like a whole different speed underwater. They look like they're going in slow motion, but they're going like 30 knots an hour, obviously not that quick. Then we came across this little guy. 
It's a little type of octopus, and I couldn't really tell if he was an octopus or a squid with the way he started swimming at one point, but he's definitely an octopus, and it was really cool to watch him roam around on the ocean floor. As I said, here I am trying to swim alongside the pod of dolphins, and I'm not doing very well to keep up. I kept up for quite a while, I was pretty impressed with myself. By no means am I Michael Phelps, though I'm getting there. When I swim alongside these dolphins, it does make me feel a little bit faster, but you can see they're already gaining speed on me, so obviously they're a lot faster than I ever will be. And this pretty much makes up the two guys. We went and said bye to our little dolphin friend on the line. You don't usually get an angle where Mark's in the video, so here's Mark and the dolphin, which is a pretty cool shot. Then we said bye to all our friends, because this would have been one of the last dives in Egypt with them. Took a couple selfies, did a couple silly things, and got back on the boat. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different. We didn't have too many different marine species, but I could stare at dolphins for hours, and I'm pretty sure anybody else could too. Totally recommend this dive site if you're ever in Egypt. Sharm El Ur or Dolphin House is its more common name, and it's really an incredible dive site. See you next time. Later. one dolphin on our first dolphin dive and we had him all by ourselves for half an hour and then on the second dive we had nine dolphins incredible super great great way to end the trip so hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did and look at these dolphins that's a six from earlier oh look it's the middle that's cool actually <laughs>